What's up, tubes? This is Flathead Politics. Alright, this is Flathead Politics. Got a simulated moon set up here. Got this wheel here, which is to scale in relation to this ball. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way down here on the ball. Kind of see the size. steps. What's up tubes? So this is part two of my little test um, and this time I was able to improve upon my pole design. I found a approximately nine foot long extension pole and uh, I was able to secure the wheel to the pole a lot better using some clamps and I went ahead and took the wheel back up to the ball and placed it up against it so you can kind of once again see the the shadow itself on the larger ball, the earth ball, and also placed a marker at 60 feet away from the ball, which would give me my distance of 30 earths between the earth and the moon. Went ahead and walked down to my marker, and this pole is quite heavy, so I don't have to take two hands and lift it up in the air. So this time I waited until about 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sun was kind of low in the sky and I was able to get it up in the air high enough to cast a shadow from 60 feet on the two foot and diameter ball. As you can see here. So once again I got the camera pointing forward but I'm actually looking up in the air at the ball to make sure it is actually parallel to the earth and as you can see it is here and there you can see the shadow on the earth ball it's kind of hard to discern here but 
I could see it and it seemed to be about the same size as it was when I was standing close to the ball. So in my opinion, I wouldn't say the ball got any smaller. It stayed about the same size and maybe it got a little bit bigger. So anyway, there it is. There you have it. Take it for what it's worth. Once again, thanks for watching and peace.